It's like a phone in. You're you're through to the Good Morning Portugal show. Well, I'm, I thought I could be seen. I think I'm clicking the correct. Well, it's okay. We should proceed. I mean, if you want to, if you want to tinker a little bit more, and, uh, and whilst I do a couple of other things, you're very welcome. But uh, we can we're connected with you. We can hear you. Great, great, okay. great. Good morning to you. How are you this morning? To the bang. Oh, to the bang. And, and I've seen some beautiful, beautiful um, schools of dolphins off the coast of Cascais as well. You've seen them there as well, isn't that? It, and what is it like? Is it breathtaking and, and just staggering to see them uh, cavorting in the water? I think especially because I live by Costa de Guia, yeah. um, seeing them all over the cliffs because you're actually looking down on them. Oh. It's really spectacular. Yeah, a spiritual moment. Another spiritual moment here yeah. in Portugal. Um, here you are. We've got your um, the cover of uh, of uh, Vision magazine. Uh, o sonho português que atrai os americanos. So I think that's the Portuguese dream that's attracting the Americans. You included. Uh, your yeah, part, yes. Expats Portugal team. Tell us how you fit in over at Expats Portugal before we look at some of the forthcoming attractions uh, over there, uh, Expats. Well, I think because of how many Americans are now moving to Portugal. It, I think Jerry and Astrid were looking for somebody that understood what those Americans would be facing, some of their challenges and some of their questions. Right. And I was brought on to, to help with that. Cool. And how's it going? It's, it's really been amazing. First, the show is really great. I mean, even your music, I have to tell you. I was listening to the music and I was like, is that you singing? Is that you? No, that is that is the genius, the quiet genius known as Warren Sharm. And Warren wrote a number of songs for us, um, including that, which is actually a Christmas song that he wrote. And I thought, hold on a minute, that is that has got some Christmassy vibes to it. And I think before it goes into the later parts of the song, which are more Christmassy, I thought that's a perfect daily tune intro, um, you know, with the sax and and with the upbeat, jazzy nature of it. So, yeah, that's Warren Sharm. Oh, my gosh. Canadian. I, I, was, I was very impressed with that this morning. Um, yeah, it's going really great. In fact, what I've learned, you know, just my own experience and thinking about when I first came here in December 2019, which was just before lockdown. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Wow, oh, what a time to arrive. And all I could ever think is how much aggravation it would have saved me. We really went through it at that time. It became particularly difficult trying to get everything done during lockdown because we couldn't travel back to the embassy. And um, it really would have been great to have a community to, you know, have support during that very difficult time, yeah. trying to get all of our uh, ducks in a row to become residents. So I, I've, I've come to truly appreciate what Expats Portugal is offering people. Yeah, right. And and yeah. um, it goes back to 2005, of course, just celebrated an 18th birthday. A little bit more Brit focused back in those days, um, started That's by nice. Simon, who was, who was British. Um, and uh, questions about living in Portugal, which I think has changed drastically uh, over those 18 years. But now a, a much a bigger focus um, on um, American and North American migrants coming over to Portugal there. So an incredible resource, as you say. Um, you, I'm guessing you wished you'd had access to it, but now you're part of it and can see from that um, American point of view what's required and helping people out there at www.expatsportugal.com. And I will put a link to uh, Expats Portugal in the chat as well if you want to be become a member and take advantage of uh, one of the packages that gets you a load of discounts as well. That's the other part of it, of course, isn't it, Jackie? Yeah. Big discounts on the professional services as well. I mean, that alone is worth its weight in gold. And the, and the professionals that expats use, I'm actually using I can, almost every single one of them now because I have kids, who, adult children who want to move. So EI is actually my uncle oh. after this. And yeah. I have a remote worker. I have all, three different kids, three different situations trying to gain residency now. Um, but it really is for me, the most enlightening thing, just not only to understand that there are experts, but that the community itself are experts. And yeah, they, right. give you, they give you such inside information. 
And one of the things I laugh about is that just knowing if you have to go to your consulate in the U.S., people will tell you um, such inside information like go in the morning because the people yeah. in the afternoon are horrible. You, you, yeah. you never want to use the people in the afternoon. And, and you think that that's just a small piece of information. Yeah. But when you understand how these embassies work in the U.S., you realize they're fiefdoms. And that piece of information could save you hours of work and so much aggravation. Yes, so it's, it's really, I think, as much the community as the, ex as the experts. Yeah, that's so true. It's that peer-to-peer -peer help, isn't it? And those, oh, those little true. nuggets of information are fantastic. I heard that the Boston uh, consulate is only open for an hour a day in the afternoon. And, you know, just finding out something like that is going to save you a whole lot of time and stress. And you know, let's face it, this journey can be stressful. There are so many moving parts to this journey, aren't there? It's like a, a finely made watch. Um, and you only have to have a few of them go wrong, a few of those little bits uh, in the mix there, a few plot twists, and it becomes very um, um, debilitating and depressing sometimes, the journey. So get help at expatsportugal.com. What, what have we got for people specifically this week, Jackie, and, and looking forward to the future? Um, what I think is really interesting about this week is it's Spartan. And what Spartan does is their money exchange. And yes, they do give the best rate. But again, this is about your headaches and your aggravation. Because what they do, and it's my husband that does most of this, so I have to hear him complain constantly before we were even using Spartan, <laughs> um, is people not answering your phone calls. You're trying to move money, and you're not getting any response from the company you're using. Yeah. And I think that's really what sets this company completely different from the other companies that we've even had to deal with is that they actually call back. They actually have customer service and and they really do pride themselves on that. And if you even look at some of the reviews and some of the other companies, you, you'll understand all the things that can go wrong in a simple transaction, which you think at the time is a simple transaction. And yeah. yet <laughs> what makes them different is things go smoothly. Yes. Again, this is all about avoiding stress and headaches because if you could avoid one by just using one company that's giving you, you know, as good as an exchange rate as anything else, why wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and that's, that's how I see it. Yep, thank you for that. So join us tomorrow night. That'll be with um, Sarah from 7.30. And then at 9, of course, I'm going to show this picture of the Dream Team uh, in which we're both there. There you are. We can see you now. Um, yeah. I, I've been told I look sozzled in this picture. Jerry took me to class <laughs> last week and publicly shamed me, I think, for being drunk, which I wasn't. That was the worst thing about it is I actually wasn't drunk. I just look it. Uh, and there, there you, are, you and I are sat next to each other there, uh, next to Jerry and your husband there, and Nunu and a few other familiar faces. Sarah, of course, will be with us tomorrow night. That's the Dream Team. And that goes on at 9 o'clock tomorrow night. And the professionals you mentioned earlier, that's turned into the rock and roll of migration, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I that team, actually, that restaurant is also really amazing, too. But yeah. our team, what I like about this team, especially, is not just their expertise and their service, but they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun to have dinner with as well. Yeah. Despite, and, my, despite the look on Michael's face, there, he is fun in real life. Yeah. It was, I think it was a great dinner. I mean, it was. Just a lot of laughs, and I think it was a great, almost a team building experience. Yes, yeah, it was. So it, was, it, was it was. It was great that night. But I wasn't drunk, okay? I'd like to set the record. I didn't think so, unless you could, you know, I, you didn't seem drunk at all to me. But exactly, I'm just high on life. That's how I roll. <laughs> Right. Really, really. <laughs> Before you really? leave us this morning, I'm going to spring something on you. It's like, um, best thing, worst thing, an interesting thing about Portugal. Um, I know you've got a fondness for the pastries here. So let's start with the bad news. What, what's, the, what's the worst thing um, that people should be aware of when moving to Portugal and how to deal with it, do you think? Is it, is it the currency thing? No, no. And I, it's funny because I remember you asking me this and I, and I thought about it. And it's really, it's, and I said this before and I think it's very true, is 
philosophically and practically, they're two different things. So mm. people get upset that the bureaucracy makes them wait. But again, living in LA, I was on the 405 and I was stuck on the 405 for two hours. Yeah. You know, traffic was tremendous. Living in New York City, trains sometimes didn't show up. So whatever place you live in is going to cause you some degree of stress and waiting. Oh, yeah. Portugal does it because the bureaucracy is slow. But when I think about how often I deal with the bureaucracy as opposed to how often I dealt with traffic and trains and getting from place to place, this is a much better situation. Good call. Absolutely. So whether it's your 405 or your 401k, the, the levels of stress, although they can be uh, difficult at times, they are much more infrequent than the what much we get more. in our daily lives. Very good distinction. I like that. So that's the worst thing and kind of like the best thing as well. And you're a fan of the pastries. Um, I don't want to be indelicate here and put you <laughs> on the spot personally, but I've, I've come up with this thing. You know, there's this freshman 15 that they're spo supposed to be freshmen <laughs> or 15 pounds when they're new at college or university. What, right. is it, what happens to people when they move to Portugal? Similar sort of thing. And it's more than 15 pounds, isn't it? Yeah, it is a tough thing. It, you know, <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> it, it, it is a real struggle. Because when I moved here, I didn't realize that pastries were as well known as the wine. I mean, I thought, okay, I heard about wine. I could resist wine. I'm okay. <laughs> what I, I cannot resist is a pastry shop. And I, I'm, I do a pastry crawl with my guests. You know, people do pod crawls. Yeah. I actually do a pastry crawl. And so I have like five pastry shops that and i bring people you got to try this one this like the pau de dios at panderia portuguesa because <laughs> they definitely have the best so and it's, then, it's and like then so yeah yeah you know, it's, to people okay but you've got to pace yourself don't don't have a, a hyperglycemic attack at, yeah. the first, at the first two um establishments take pace yourself because it's going to get better and better it is and so that is one that's actually on my personal tour a pastry crop so. 15 pounds more like 15 kilos for me so it's it's a real thing luckily we do have assistance and help um take i don't know metformin is cheaper here isn't it the di i shouldn't joke about diabetes but you've got to be you've got to be careful with really? this uh, any, any other a final insight from you jackie great fun talking to you you'll join us again next wednesday of course um as astrid continues her global tour but great fun <laughs> great fun talking to you um what's what's your final insight for people moving to uh portugal from the expats portugal point of view what I said it in that magazine, I think my insight is living in large cities in the U.S., what always strikes me about the Portuguese is that they are very kind and they are very helpful mm -hmm. and they are sincere. It's not that other people don't want to help you. It's that they're so focused on getting from one place to the next that it's like they have boundaries around themselves. Yes. And you don't get that here. People seem almost more open walking down the street. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> I think there's a whole different vibe about that helping others. Fantastic to hear. And that's what you said in the magazine, is it? So you were interviewed. How's your Portuguese? Because it looks there like you did the interview in Portuguese. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no. Terrible, terrible. I have to go back to study, but I am... I, my teacher says I'm a minute from being fluent, so I just That's need such a good, That is so encouraging. We're all a minute from something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In Portuguese. Oh, Jackie, so good to talk to you. Um, great fun. And i got to say, you know, sometimes Americans say to uh, English people, I love your accent. I love your accent, Jackie. Um, oh, great. Thank you so much. <laughs> great to talk I, to you. 
I uh, worked so hard at losing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sorry, but I, I, I absolutely love it. And uh, a, a brilliant article in Vision magazine, or Sonia Portuguese, the Portuguese dream, which we're all uh, a part of now that's attracting the Americans. I see what they did there um, with Vision magazine. So, Jackie, thank you very much. Looking forward already to seeing you next week and, of course, on the webinar tomorrow night at 7.30 and for the Dream Team at 9 tomorrow night. Uh, have a great day. Enjoy your pastries you in, in, in Portugal. Ciao, ciao. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. There she goes. Um, and there is the um, the magazine cover on the screen there. A, a Portuguese uh, podcast listeners, Vision Magazine, or Sonia Portuguese, que atrai os americanos from the Estados Unidos. Okay, let's uh, move on and bring on to the screen. Let's keep that applause going and see if uh, the doc is going to stroke the lucky cockerel this morning. He might not be up to speed with this new feature on the Good Morning Portugal show. I didn't think of it myself, Doc. Good morning to you. How are you this morning? Good morning, Carl.